Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. I had a person who was watching one of my videos on YouTube ask a question and I have it printed out for you here. She said, I have a silhouette and I purchased planning stickers from an Etsy store. Some of the stickers are saved as PNG and JPEG. Do you have an easier way? Recommendation as to how to import these other files that are not SVG files into Silhouette, print and cut. I see many people have had this problem. So I asked her to send me the link and she did and I told her I would purchase it and make a video for her. So let's get started. Let me show you what we do. So let's go here and we'll see this is what she ordered. The Erin Condren Autumn Planner stickers. And when she ordered it, and I did too, the first thing she did was download the files. And uh, it says there are several different kinds here that you can get. You can get the JPEGs or the PDF or the PNG. Now what I need to tell you is every one of these files, every one of these zip files is exactly the same. They're just used in a different way. So what I would recommend for um, your silhouette machine is that you use the PNG zipped ones. So what you would do is just download those and they'll come right here. Since I'm using Windows 10, this is how mine works. It's a zip file and you know you have to unzip a zip file before it can be used. So I'll click on it to open it. Here it is. And again, as I said, it's zip, so I have to extract it. And I'm going to say extract it. And there we go. So here we have the items right here. So there are one, two, three, four pages. Uh, but anyway, I'll start with number, let's start with number one. And I'll double click to open that. Well, this is just going to allow me to look at it here. So instead of waiting for that, let's cancel that. Now let's go back over to Silhouette. And let me get rid of this now because we no longer need it. Delete it. And go over here. And so now I'm going to go to File and Open. And I'm going to open not the zipped file. Nothing with a zipper on it. I can't use any of that. But here it is, September PNG number one and I'll double click on this. And I said I wanted to look at page number one, so part number one. I'll click on that to open it. And it opens just like this and you'd think it would be perfect, but it is not. And there's a reason why. First of all, let's move it over and you can see it is a PNG file and it has a transparent background, which is exactly what we want. But here's the problem. My sticker paper is eight and a half by 11 which is what I have this paper set up as. If you're not sure how to do that, come over here to the setup panel. The first little icon allows you to set up your machine. I have the Auto Cameo 4. The cutting mat is a 12 by 12 Cameo. And I changed my uh, media size to letter. letter. It automatically was Auto Cameo. Uh, which is 12 by 12, but that's not how big my sheets are, so I can't use this piece there. So I need to change this to 8.5 by 11 or letter. And then what I also need to do is I want to come up here to the third icon over in the page setup and turn on my registration lines. Another thing I do like to do is come back to that first icon and make sure that both of these things down here are checked as on. That's my print border and my cut border. All right, so one of the first things, if we move this off this mat that I can see that I want to do, is get rid of this text up here. I don't need it at all. So to, the easiest way for me to do that is just to click on this, right click, and say, release the compound path. That puts boxes around everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move all this stuff down like that, away from this stuff that I want to delete. I'm going to delete all that by drawing a box around it all and hit delete. Okay, now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to move all these guys up and then just delete all this. Delete. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to group all these back together and move them over onto my work area here to see if they're going to fit. 
and they really don't quite fit. Remember when you do a print then cut, you don't want anything going in this checkered area here or here or here, nor do you want it to go outside of the red line, which is the cut line. So we got an issue with, let's see, what do we have an issue with? Just this little guy right here. So if I actually, I can move all this up a little bit with my arrow key. And I think I can move this over some, but I don't think I can move it over enough to let that one print all the way. I cannot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of one of these. So I'm going to ungroup this. And I'm just going to delete one of these off of here. Or what I could do is actually this. I could hold down my control, I mean my shift key, and turn this like this. And then just put it up here because it'll fit fine up there. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else that looks out of the ordinary. Well, let's look and see what happens when we say send, like as if we're going to make it. Okay, everything looks really, really good, except for I see this double line right here. So maybe these guys are a little bit too close together. So I'll go back to design, click on this one maybe, and just use my arrow key and shift it over a bit. And let's see if that fixed it. Okay, and that's all there is to this. Simple as that. I would just go to, to print it. I would go file, print, and I get look at my preview. Does it look like everything's fitting in there perfectly? It does. So I would print it, and I would probably change my preferences to high, because I want them to be nice looking stickers, and then put my sticker paper in there and print it and then just cut it. So then if I wanted to do the next page, I would come back over here to design, go to file, open, page number two. Notice we're going to have the same issue again. So first thing I'm going to do is move this over here, I guess. And I'm going to ungroup it, or I'm going to right click and say release compound path going to put boxes around everything, remember? I'm going to grab all of this stuff here. See if I can grab it and move it out of the way of that. Yep, I did. So now I can just get rid of these things here that I don't need. Delete. All right, but I'm not sure. Whoopsie. I'm not sure about these yet. Now I am going to regroup them back together. And I'm going to come over here and put on my uh, registration marks. And again, you'll see that these things are not going to fit here nicely. They cannot go into that checkered border or it will not cut properly. But what I can do is probably move some of these things. Let's see, if I move this down this far, and I can ungroup this, I might be able to put this up here. No, it will not fit. So that will probably have to go on another page but I can bring some of these up here so they're not going into the checkerboard at all. And since it's in the checkerboard now, all I have to do is click on it and twirl it a little bit. Okay, same with this one. Bring it up, click on it, and twirl it a little bit. Okay, let's see how this is looking now. If we go to make it or send, Okay, that looks perfect. There's only one outline around everything. So I would simply go back to design and I would just say print. And again, I would look to see what does this look like? Is it all on here? Yep, it looks terrific. So I would print it and come back and cut it on my cutter. But I'm gonna cancel that. Now I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna put this over here just for the fun of it. I'm gonna grab all these things and just come over here and see if I can nest these things and they'll all fit on there together. Well, you know, since I put the nesting on, it looks like I can get them all to fit. Let's check it out. Let's send. Okay, I hope you noticed what I did. Let me go back to design. 
so this is the way I had it. Whoops. Okay, this is the way it was, right? And there's a function in the business edition. I'm not sure if it's in any other edition, but it's in the business edition. If you have a pile of stuff on here, you can highlight everything you want. Come over here to where these things look like they're nested together, like little puzzle pieces almost. Click on that to open it. Uh, set selected shape as the boundary. Well, I want to use my cut area. So notice the cut area. It's inside of those little um, hashtag marks, like I said. I change the rotations. I can leave it at two and try it. Let's say nest and see what happens. And then look, it wiggles everything around in there so well that they can all fit now. Let's go to send. And that is perfect. I love it. So I hope this tip helps you. Again, what I suggest you do is only use the PNG for um, Silhouette. And the other two files that you get, those can also be used with Silhouette, but the PNG file I have found to be easier for this. So I hope this helps. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the little bell and share this with your friends who also like to use their Silhouette software. Thanks again. Bye.